Hoi. Now we're going to draw a lion tamarind. No, it's not a lion. It's actually a small monkey. Now we are at the Singapore Zoo. And here they have a lot of strange animals. One of the strangest is this one. A lion tamarind. A tamarind is a kind of a monkey that has a long tail and jumps around in the trees. The lion tamarind has its name from the lion because it has a mane that looks like a lion's mane. But come on, sit still now so I can draw you. Whee. Ready? First, I pick my color pencils. Black, red, yellow, orange and green. I begin with a black one and draw a small circle. On top of the circle, we draw two eyes. Right between the eyes, we'll find the nose. Under the nose, we have a cozy smile. Then I open up the smile with another line. Inside the smile, we add two teeth. Then it's time for the tongue. The eyes have kind of a dark shadow around them to make them look extra cool. Inside the mouth of a lion tamarind, there is no light. So there we color black. Then we begin on the big lion's mane. Look at that. Now it's nice, isn't it? Under the big mane, a small body appears. On top of the head, it has a light color that can almost look like a crown. Out from each side comes the arms. They are pretty short with three fingers on each hand. At the bottom we have the legs. One goes straight down and the other one out to the side. <laughs> now it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Then we have the tail. It swings out in a curl. Then we are ready for some coloring. Let's start with some yellow in the face and then some orange on the nose. Red on the tongue. Now again we grab the orange pencil and use it on the mane. That's a big job because the mane is really big. When you color a lot, you must make sure you sharpen your pencil properly. That's really important or else the pencil gets difficult to work with. Now we continue with the orange color and give a bit to both the arms and the legs. The body itself is black. I think I'll add some orange at the tail as well. In the end, we add some extra red at the edge of the mane to give the colors an extra glow. We'll do the same on the feet, the hands and the tail. Now we are ready for the background. There I draw a lot of green plants. All lion tamarinds need a lot of green plants around them to have a good life. Then Lysa is finished. Lysa the lion tamarind. Mmm, that was quite fast and easy, wasn't it? Drawing gets easier and easier every time you practice, so keep practicing. Want to see more? Subscribe and see more videos.